The Case of David Koresh David Koresh, born Vernon Wayne Howell on August 17, 1959, was a cult leader known for his involvement in the tragic events that unfolded in Waco, Texas. Koresh's early life was marked by a turbulent childhood and a series of personal struggles. He joined the Branch Davidians, a religious group, in the early 1980s and eventually rose to power within the organization. The Branch Davidians had roots dating back to the 1930s and believed in a mixture of Christianity and a unique interpretation of the Bible. When Koresh assumed leadership, he presented himself as a prophet and claimed to have a special connection to God. His charisma and ability to captivate followers drew many individuals to the group. However, as Koresh's power grew, so did concerns about the practices and beliefs of the Branch Davidians. Allegations of physical and sexual abuse within the group surfaced, raising red flags and attracting the attention of law enforcement agencies. In February 1993, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms ATF, launched a raid on the Mount Carmel Center, the Branch Davidians compound in Waco, to investigate the group's alleged illegal weapons stockpiling. The initial raid resulted in a shootout between the ATF agents and the Branch Davidians, leaving several people dead on both sides. The ATF's failed attempt to apprehend Koresh and search the compound led to a standoff that lasted for 51 days. Negotiations between Koresh, his followers, and federal agents took place during this time, but a resolution could not be reached. On April 19, 1993, the standoff came to a horrifying end. The FBI launched an assault on the compound, using tear gas to try and force the Branch Davidians out. However, a fire broke out, engulfing the compound in flames. Seventy-six people, including Koresh, perished in the fire, many of them women and children. The events in Waco sparked controversy and intense public debate. Questions arose about the actions of both the Branch Davidians and the government agencies involved. Criticism focused on the decision to use force and the handling of the standoff, leading to multiple investigations and inquiries. The aftermath of the Waco tragedy saw a heightened focus on cults, religious extremism, and the balance between religious freedom and government intervention. It served as a catalyst for discussions on law enforcement tactics and strategies when dealing with similar situations. The legacy of David Koresh and the Waco incident serves as a somber reminder of the dangers of unchecked power, religious fanaticism, and the potential for violence within cults. It highlights the need for proper investigation, negotiation, and communication to prevent such situations from escalating to tragic ends. In conclusion, David Koresh's life and his role as the leader of the Branch Davidians in Waco, Texas, left an indelible mark on history. The events that unfolded during the raid and the subsequent standoff revealed the complexities surrounding cults, religious beliefs, and law enforcement responses. The tragedy at Waco stands as a reminder of the importance of vigilance and critical examination in both preventing and resolving such volatile situations. We hope you enjoyed this case overview presented by the Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content just like this.